Welcome to Final Color Training. I'm Kevin Shaw, and today we're going to look at fluorescent lights. I'm going to get you from here to here using primary, secondary, and OFX tools. Ordinary primary corrections like offset or gain don't work. Color temperature won't work. Auto color perhaps? No. Auto white balance? No. Maybe auto black, that's the best so far. But if we look at the vector scope, we can see the real problem. There's nothing but yellow in the picture. The histogram shows it even better. The red channel is overexposed. The green channel is not too bad, but the blue channel is non-existent. We can't balance the image until we create a blue channel. We could use the channel mixer, but we need even more control in this case. Option Y to create RGB separations. We can view the channels using the view menu. So let's look at the red channel and adjust the red, bringing down the exposure. Now the green channel, view and adjust. Then the blue channel. To boost the blue channel, Option L for a layer node. And now I have two nodes to make up the blue channel. The first contains any blue information that did get recorded. The second I'm going to feed from the green channel which was well exposed and I can use that to balance the neutrals in the image. So now the blue channel is made up of any blue information there was, plus all the details from the green channel. If we switch back to full color, we see that now we have too much blue. So I'm just going to use the node key of the green blue channel and lower the opacity by about 50%. Now I can wrap all of those up into a compound node and call it RGB separations. To see more black detail, I'm going to lower the contrast back in node 1. There's still a lot of yellow in the image, but because of the narrow spectrum emitted from the fluorescence, primary still won't work. I add another node and open the hue saturation curve, and you can see the yellow spike. So I sample that, open it up, and lower just those fluorescent frequencies. And as I do, you can see the histogram take a better shape. If I go too far, we will have a very desaturated image. I can boost the blues a bit using the same hue sat curve. We can also go to the hue hue curve and warm up the green yellow to a more pleasant warmer yellow. We don't need to keep this at maximum, so again I'll use the node key output to reduce the effect, leaving it realistic but less monochromatic than before. Let's push the weaker colors more with chroma boost and just punch what we have for a richer color set starting to look nice, but the white lights are poorly balanced. Rather than mess with the fragile balance I have so far, I'll make a simple luminance key, Shift H to see the mat, add a little softness to isolate those clipped lanterns, and then Shift H again to see the image. Now I'm going to use a luminance saturation curve to remove any color in the lamps. Now I've done as much as I need with the main tools, but I can use plugins to get an even better result. I want to keep that highlight node right at the end of my color tools. So let's move the nodes down to give me some more space. The first plugin I want to try is the dehaze filter. So open the OFX library, search, haze, there it is. And it needs to go in front of my secondary corrections. So I'll put it just after the primary RGB separates compound node. And the way it works is to use a sampled color, which I define with the eyedropper, and then I can remove the haze, mostly in the highlights, but a bit in the shadows too. Here's before and after. I'm also going to pop the image a bit with the contrast pop plugin. Back to the library, search, pop, and I'll add that to the end of the note tree. It does make the image richer. There's not much detail in this image, so I'm going to fully open the black and white thresholds. Here it is off and on. These plugins all come with Resolve Studio, but there's a new set available from Filmworks that's worth mentioning too. If I zoom in, you can see that there's a lot of chromatic aberration. Cheap cameras have cheap lenses. That purple edge doesn't help the image. In my Filmworks plugins, I'm selecting DVO Chroma. And you can see it's very simple to use. I just need to add strength and there it goes. Before, after much better. With the plugins in place, I think we can go back and remove even more yellow. So I'm going to go back to the yellow frequency cut node and take the opacity from 0.5 to about 0.7 to lose more of those strong yellow frequencies. 
The histogram is showing that we do have blue channel information now. This was before and this is now. Here is the vector scope showing that we've gone from a very monochromatic image to a much more balanced picture. If we look at the chromaticity chart, that too shows the extreme out of camera gamut against the more balanced 709 finish. Thanks for watching. Please check finalcolor.com for more tutorials and classes. Happy coloring.